It's Ashley Greco, and you know what? I am super stoked about this lady that we have in studio. A triple threat is what they call her. A singer, an actress, an entrepreneur. Everybody, make some noise for Selena Gomez! Yay. How are ya? Good, how are you? I'm good. You tired this morning? You were playing a show last night at the amphitheater? A little bit, but I think I was so exhausted from the show that I knocked out, so I got a good amount of sleep. How was uh, the crowd last night? Insane. It was crazy. I, um... I, I, I never look at a crowd before I go on stage. It's like a superstition, I guess, of mine. So every when I stepped foot on the stage, it was it was a very very sweet feeling. Canada definitely welcomed me. They love you here. They it's really do. Sweet. Thank what you. was the uh, the song you did last night that got the biggest reaction from the crowd? Obviously, my single "Who Says" got right. um, got the biggest reaction, which is a really fun song and a very powerful moment because everybody just sings along and goes crazy. Now you, uh, if a lot of people don't know, um, started off your career appearing in several episodes of Barney. Yes, Purple I was. guy as nice as I he was, is in person. Um, definitely, very. <laughs> I mean, we rehearsed a lot without him in the suit, which freaked me out sometimes, but it was good. A little bit of a scary moment. And of course, you've got the uh, Disney series uh, Wizards of Waverly Place, which is now in its final and fourth season. Is that a bit scary it's... that this show is wrapping up for you? It already wrapped up, so I feel like that's something that has happened and I and I'm and I'm still emotional because it ends twice for me. So I already finished shooting, but now I have to end it when the last episode airs. So it's gonna be kind of emotional. Now I was reading somewhere recently, you said that you have is this true, you've never been to a nightclub? Never. Never ever. Yeah, because my um, most of my singles that have been released have been remixed by Dave Ade. Mm -hmm. And I've had I think four four number one club hits on the Billboard charts. And I and I've never even like stepped foot in a club, but I've had four number ones in the club. <laughs> yeah. So I laugh and I'm like, it's kind of funny, but awesome, I guess. Are you saving that special moment going to a club? And you it's know, not really like a special moment. But though. it is though, isn't it though? Like to be able to go to a club and dance to your own songs or watch people's reaction to hearing your song. Maybe, but I kind of get that feeling with a concert. I mean, I don't know. I I feel like I'm I'm 19, so being able to go to premieres and I get to go to a lot of places, I kind of already feel like I know what it would, what it would be like. So it amazes me. Um, you know, a lot of young Hollywood stars. Um, have gotten themselves into trouble over the years and you were such an honest to God real role model for young girls You've never been arrested <laughs> as far as I know, right? Right. Never been arrested. You've never really gotten yourself into uh, to any trouble As far as I know. Yeah, I mean, what's what's your secret? How do you stay so grounded? It's not really a secret. I, I just um I'm very normal, you know, I'm just I'm definitely normal. I have a great family, a great support system, um, the best fans that just kind of keep me in line and I, I enjoy what I do. Obviously, I make mistakes. I'm definitely not perfect, but, you know, I just kind of want to be the best I can be for them. Um, okay, so I want to talk about the big event that's coming up on Sunday. You must be super stoked. Yeah. It is the MTV Video Music Awards and you're hosting the pre-show this year. Yes. So what are your duties? Um, I'm excited. I'm only doing the fashion portion, which okay. I'm very excited about. So I get to um, I get to interview a bunch of celebrities that will be there, a lot of artists, um, and talk about what they're wearing and how they prepared getting ready for the show and stuff. So I love that because I feel like, especially at the MTV VMAs, they obviously wear the best outfits. So I can't wait to get to ask a bunch of people how they got ready. Are you nervous about that, interviewing other celebrities? A little bit, but I think... I think I'll be okay just because I'm. I'll. I'll, try, I'll be nice. So I'll. You know. I'll let them do it because obviously they have a lot of interviews. I think Sunday is going to be pretty surreal for you. I. I also read somewhere that Britney Spears was the first CD that you yes. ever owned. Mm -hmm. It was the first concert yep. you ever went to. Mm -hmm. And Britney on Sunday is receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award. Wow. I know. I hope to see. I think I'm probably going to save till the end. I might. Might have to leave because I got to get on a plane. But I really hope they do that in the middle of the show because I can't wait to see who's going to come out. Yeah, it's a big tribute that they're doing. Are you involved with the tribute at all? Yeah. So I know that Katy Perry, Janet Jackson, uh, Demi Lovato, she's also involved with this. I, I wouldn't know who the lineup is. So it's like top secret. Yeah, that's the best part. I think you're going to be really surprised to see who's going to come out. And um, also, Nicki Minaj is going to be taking part in yes. uh, the tribute. I, I have a feeling that you're a big Nicki Minaj fan. I am. I'm definitely a huge Nicki fan. You're doing super bass a couple times out on the tour. There's also some YouTube videos of you doing the super bass rap. Mm -hmm. That she's my I love her. She's so funny. She's, she's cool, really right? Cool. Mm -hmm. Have you seen her in concert? Have you met her? I have never seen her in concert, but I have met her and she's been very nice to me. She's very sweet. Um, you know, being a celebrity, 
I, I, it's tough for me to say this because, I mean, you're a celebrity and, and you've got friends, and I don't know if, if you hang out with all celebrities. Is that the case? You've got, <laughs> you've got like normal friends. Yeah, of course. But uh, one of your closest friends is uh, Taylor Swift. Yes. How did you guys hook up? Uh, I've known Taylor for almost four years now. So I've known her for a while. We actually met at a, jo at a Jonas Brothers concert and um, we just became best friends ever since. And she's definitely been like a big sister and an inspiration to me. You said in an interview, every problem I ever have is healable by Taylor Swift. Absolutely. That's pretty close. Yeah, it is, because it's she's got this humor about her that's really funny. So whenever I come to her and I'm upset about something, she always finds a way to turn it into a comedy. Um, and she's just great. She definitely is just someone who will talk you through any problems. You Important have. to have your girlfriends close. Definitely. And you're making playlists with each other, is that true? Like going yeah. through breakups? Whenever we did whenever we went through like kind of our breakup phase, we um we made each other playlists so we emailed all each other like all these different songs that we liked and it went it went on for like three months, but it really helped. It was fun. Now, um, another celebrity that I know you're really close to is uh, Demi Lovato, mm -hmm. who, you know, has been very public about her rehab stint, yeah. and, um, you know, she talked about, in a recent interview that she did, about all the friends that she lost as a result of it, but mentioned you personally in saying how close you guys are. Was that hard to watch her go through that? Sure, but I think Demi is very strong. I think she went through a lot, and I feel like she's trying to find her path, and she's doing a good job. She's obviously very connected with her fans, and she's, I think she's very strong. Okay, a couple of rumors that I want to clear up here. A long time ago, we heard something about the Carrie Diaries. So this is the prequel to the Sex oh, right, right. Yes. And you and Blake Lively were supposed to be involved with it. Is this true? No. Not true? Nope. Okay, so you've heard it here first. Not true, not happening. And, um, but you do have something in the works of Muppets you're a part of, which is coming out in, uh, is it November? I think so. I, a bunch of people made a bunch of cameos, so I'm, I'm not in it for a long time. It's, I did a little cameo and a bunch of different celebrities were there, and I was very honored that they asked me. It's going to be a really cute movie, though, because we got to see a couple of scenes. Favorite Muppet? Uh, I like Pink. Yeah, Pink is my favorite, too. Um, okay, if you're just joining us, Selena Gomez in the Z Studios, and we have a few Facebook questions from uh, some of your fans. This one coming from Jennifer. She says, uh, she wants to ask you, how do you handle the image pressure that Hollywood puts on young stars? Body image pressure to look perfect, etc. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't ever listen to that. I think everybody um, will criticize you whether you are the perfect person. There is no such thing as a perfect person, and even if you were, they would still criticize you. So at one point, you just kind of don't really pay attention to it and just kind of do your own thing. Cool. And uh, Brittany wants to know what your future dream is, where you see yourself in five, ten years from now. Uh, five years, I hope I'm still doing what I love. Maybe ten years away, have a family or something. A family? Yeah, but that's so wild. Well. How many kids do you want? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll cross that bridge when I get there. I can't say just yet because I don't know what that'll entitle. And uh, finally, we've got one here from Alberto who says, please ask, please ask Selena, does she have an older sister? Oh, I don't. I'm, uh, I'm an only child. Oh, are you? Yes. So it's just just me. A lot of guys, I mean, must must hit on you. You're a gorgeous what? looking. Oh, come on. <laughs> I got to tell you something. I'm looking at Selena Gomez in person here, and I always thought she was just absolutely gorgeous in television. We've never met before, but coming in early in the morning after performing a show, and you worked your butt off, you come in here and you look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. So Tons much. of guys have been, including some of my male friends. Have been uh, have been asking me to ask you for your phone number, and I heard that this happened oh. to you recently. You were in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Someone came up to you, said, "Hey, can I get your number?" How do you approach fans like that? It's really sweet. It is really sweet. So uh, most of the time, to be honest, it's about eight-year-olds. I get some eight-year-old boys that ask me for their number, and I'm like, "Why don't you call me when you're, you know, a little bit older?" Oh, <laughs> so I just so joke cute. with them because they're really cute. Um, they're very sweet. So I don't know. I have really sweet fans.